Hello, this is Proud Fertility. I'm Nathan Chan. I'm the Managing Director of Proud Fertility Servicing Egg Donation Canada. Who do we have here? We have a proud intended parent. So we're going to leave out identifying information, no names of you, no names of your surrogate or egg donor, or even your husband or yourself. Um, we just want to talk about how proud you are about the whole journey. So um, first of all, who are you? You are proud. So I am French, as you can hear from my accent. I'm so sorry for my bad English sometimes. I am 33 years old and I've been in couple with my husband during more than 14 years now. Wow, you have a husband of yeah. 14 years. That's a long time in gay world, right? Yeah, it is. It is. And we met when we were at school at the university. And I think it uh, around 2013 that we start to think about parenthood. And so, wait, wait, wait. so 2013 is about nine years ago? Yeah, something so, okay, like that. So you didn't go on your first date and then be like, let's have a wedding no, 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 no. It was like after five years, yeah, between five to six years, we were thinking of being a foster family. Foster family, family first, okay. It was our first thought. Then after we, we were too scared, it's very difficult for a gay couple first, and after we were very scared to get too much attached to the kids, you know? And sometimes you foster them for five years, eight years, and... Yeah, you, they live and it's an empty space for you. And then after we think about other way like adoption, but to be honest, in France is very hard. Like you have a lot of process, a lot of checking. And okay. There is something special for adoption also is if, if one day gay couple are match for adoption, they tell you two weeks before having the kids, you are going to have a kid. So two weeks before, so you need to get rushed, you can wait five years, ten years, and suddenly mm -hmm. you get an insta baby in your in, in adoption. And you need to get prepared and so adoption is almost very difficult. Very impossible. And impossible. Yeah. Okay. Um, so before we talk about the hard part, why don't you come down and take a look at the babies? And be sure to look at the camera when you're being interviewed, little babies. Come 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 come. Look at this little so this is actually our first set of identical twins um, that is ever being interviewed at Proud Fertility. This is our second set of um, identical twins in surrogacy at Proud Fertility. But first one being actually interviewed, right? So how old are these little ones? They are now three weeks from yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was Saturday, so three weeks now. Uh, they have been delivered at, at 34 weeks Very and cool. 6 days, so almost Did you see the cute little face? Yeah, she, she is a bit small. Uh, how, how much did they weigh? Now it's 4 pounds. They, yeah. they reached 4 pounds something yesterday. 4 pounds. So, but they came down on her side, it was around 3 pounds something. Yeah, they're not okay. big less. And yeah, so the gain weight is going well. So I do want to ask, if because you jumped ahead. Why didn't you adopt? What was, and, and everyone asked that. It's like, oh my God, you have a baby through surrogacy egg donation. Why didn't you just adopt? There's so many children in the world. Do you get that ever? Um, I want to say, uh, my godfather adopted a kid. Yeah. And he, he was in a heterosexual relationship and he has been waiting for six years. And so he- It's a had long wait time. Only, yeah, on heterosexual. So when you are, Gay, it's, I think it's even more difficult. I have some friends that are trying for, to re, and you have to review, renew every two years or every five years, so agreement, and you have to pass so many tests. I mean, it's good to have tests, you know, because what makes you think that you can be a good parent or something like that? So it's like for certain progressy, we saw uh, the psychologist, so it's good to have some questions during all the process, but for adoption, is way too more and it's very intrusive. Yeah, and it's very intrusive and they are like, yeah, I'm not sure you should have it and it's very intrusive. So that's why we, we were thinking so. Well, your journey was not short of proud fertility. Um, as I recall, I think your journey took a total of about three years. Um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, challenges. What was the biggest challenge? Was it more with the surrogacy side or the egg donation side or just the pandemic? Tell us a little bit about the hardest part. Uh, I would just say, so when we start, we were thinking that the biggest part, because you told us, is to match with the surrogate. So we were very wonder wondering about how we will match with the surrogate. And actually, 
it was more for the egg donor match what is the biggest challenge for us because we had we met two egg donors but it didn't match and it was long and also there is something special you know is when you are interdict parent in Canada you are you need to make your profile you need to present yourself to say who you are why you want to do that and we are used of writing letter to Santa but not to one egg donor so and also one what I really like with Broad Fertility is that you present not a lot of egg donors, like three, four, five, and every week we kind of say, oh, we like this one, it is a match, we never know. But is what, when you start the journey, what makes you think that what kind of egg donor you want, you don't know. And this is one of the challenges because never in my life I was thinking of what kind of egg donor I want. So it was the biggest challenge. And also it was very nice with everything you did to put us in connection with them because it was more than one egg donation. You know, it was like a connection with them. So so let's review this. So you, this is, um, we just need a little bit more quiet here. Um, we, we had, you actually worked with three egg donors, yes. which is insane. Can we just have a little bit more quiet? Okay. Um, we had three egg donors with you. Yep. And um, the first egg donor did not follow through despite legals and medical screening, which happens, which yep. really, how did you feel at that point? It was, I think it was weird, not weird, it was, we started a relationship with her. With, so with, it was a no donation and yes, she still didn't follow through. Yeah. And we talked with her during, I don't know, two, three, four months and we start to exchange about everything, Game of Thrones and Canada, whatever, we were talking about everything. Friends. And suddenly, she just yeah. failed. And, and the thing is, it, it's like that. Yeah. Do you, and, do you, and on the other end of the coin, you as the intended parent can also bail. And so I think this is, that is a very hard part for you. And I think that's something that I think is really good that you're sharing because a lot of people don't have a lot of problems with the egg donation. And then when they may have problems, you're like, I thought the big challenge part was a circus, yeah. right? So that was the first donor. The second egg donor, what happened there? It was during the pandemic. So she was living in NB, New Brunswick. New Brunswick, New Brunswick. Yeah. And so that was this kind of Atlantic bubble and she couldn't come and she had a, a, a shell to, to carry on, so it's normal. So yeah. it took ages and finally we... We did everything we could to accommodate her, yeah. but, but in the end she also yeah, kind it of was, failed too. Yeah, it was a bit yeah, kind of difficult in terms of logistic because of this COVID period. Then yeah. after we met uh, this wonderful egg donor. Yeah, so then no name. So go um, down to your third egg donor. Yeah. Um, that was really smooth as well. That was weird because you know we were attached to some sign. We are thinking like, okay, we failed with two eggs donor, so maybe we are not dude. We are not made to be parents to be that. So we were like, you take it very personally. Yeah, we asked Nas and we said, okay, maybe it's not for us. Maybe it's a sign. And you thought you wanted to quit surrogacy altogether. We were not. I don't know. I don't know. We were like. Okay, we are turning, turning 33 and 35 for my husband, and we were thinking that, yeah, maybe it's not for us. Then after, the mid, I think the day we think about this, we ask you, can we have a call? And during the call, you first talk, and you say, oh, I have one egg donor for you, and we are like, wow. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it was the third one, and so... Third time's a charm. Yeah. Okay, so um, you got lots of embryos, which was amazing. And let's fast forward to getting a surrogate. You were really, really, really lucky. Yes. Which does not happen for all sets of intended parents. Um, your wait time was almost next to none, right? Yeah. Which it, is not common. Okay. It's, I, I think it was also very special thanks to you and thanks to the clinic in Vancouver. Yeah. Because they know us for a very long time. And we just want to get rid of you so you can have a baby. <laughs> and you got two. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and actually the clinic knows the surrogate, and the surrogate was collecting information, and and she was interesting in this process, more collecting information, and so so the clinic and you you put us in connection. Everything is working really fast. And it it yeah, and uh, it's true that it is it was all the journey was kind of very emotional, like like um how do you put it um. Mountain uh, Rose, a roller coaster, an emotional. Yeah, it, it, emotion. it. So it's been an emotional roller yeah, coaster. Yeah, because we were almost thinking that 
Okay. Let's just give up. We need to give up. Let's maybe go back to foster solutions. Some fostering foster family okay. because we want to offer all the love, all play, or everything. You know, with kids. And and so that it, it we wow. Came it's like, down and it was just perfect. Everything and worked out. So timing is everything. You ended up having a surrogate. Okay, now the question is: a lot of intended parents, or surrogates, or egg donors, or the regular public may see this video. Like, why did you have two babies? And like, I can't believe you did that to your poor surrogate. Like, I mean, like having twins is a high risk pregnancy. Why did you do that? No, I, actually, we did not want wanted to do that. You it's, didn't want no, twins? No. Okay, I'll take one. No, no. I'll <laughs> take one. It's actually, so the transfer happened during the summer and one month after she had blood tests on every single- Wait, wait, but you put one or two embryos? One on? embryo, one okay. embryo. And the embryo divided. And so one split. Yes, exactly. Crazy story. Yeah. And so how did you find out that you had twins? So it was very funny because it was beginning of September. Our surrogate went to the hospital for having the ultrasound, and the technician was saying, "Okay, I will make pictures, and then after you can call the intended parent." But when the technician figured out that there was twins, she said, "I want to see their face." You want, the technician wanted to see your face. Yes. Okay, but you weren't here because of the pandemic, yeah. right? And our surrogate could even, she, she is very, yeah, she could feel that there was not only one. She, she was not 100% sure, but she could feel. And then, so she make a video call, and we were very surprised because we know that she will have this impression and we will have to wait. And they say, and here is the second one, and we were like, what the? Yeah, like, whoo! <laughs> and um, so here they are, and... Just after we were, we were very, all the emotion was very intense, like happiness and also very practical. Like my husband said, we need to change the car. And that's the first thought you were having to yeah, like, we change the car. We need to buy more to uh, another bag. We need to more more diaper. Whatever, everything goes in our mind. Like, yeah, we need to do that. We do that. But when I think there is something very important when we start this journey. You say something that I remember is you will never be ready, and this is totally true. That you can try to be prepared as much as possible, but even if you first kid or I think second kid, it's always different, and you will figure out how to care them. You will figure out, but yeah, it's true. You will never be ready, but is it an excuse to not start? I don't know, and is it a, a, a answer a reason to panic? I don't know. So we try to be ready as much as possible. We prepare things. We didn't buy a new car yet. I, <laughs> my husband want to buy a new car, but our car is fine. Yeah. And but they can carry them. And yeah, you try to do that, and you know that you will have some adjustment. Like adjustments. You so you're adjusting well. Let's let's go into that question. Like, how are you adjusting now to a dad? Um, of twins and actually we talked a little bit about twin girls is that different for you or what are you worried about so present at the moment come down with the babies again at the, at the moment the at the moment the biggest issue not the biggest issue is Worry? are you having concerns yeah concern is when i need to feed them they so they are eating every three hours which is it? yeah so often. If, if they don't eat together i never sleep if they eat together, I can get some sleep. Otherwise, it's very difficult. This is kind of concern. Something that otherwise is. So you're getting some sleep between the three hours. Yeah. You need to sleep when the baby sleeps. What they say, right? Exactly. Is this? And you know, I don't have any more night or day. My 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 day is three hour shift. Like, <laughs> feed them, sleep, feed them, sleep, and. And change diapers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> and yeah, one advice is. When you will have the baby, you can cancel your Netflix subscription. And that's it, you will have no time for Cancel that. the subscription? Yeah. Well, I thought you Netflix. would be watching it more. No, 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 you can cancel it. You can cancel, you can cancel it. it. Yeah, you just want to no, sleep. No, you'll just subscribe to like Disney Plus. Yeah, and <laughs> sleep. Get sleep, sleep, sleep. But what about the twin girls aspect? Is so, there, are there some worries there? Uh, have you ever taken care of like girls and like... Yeah, this is actually, stuff? at the moment, because they are still babies, it's fine. But we were wondering, you know, in Europe, here in Canada, you have a lot of change room, family room, family something like that, yeah. yes. In Europe, we don't have that so much. So if I need to change them, especially because there is two, I don't know where I can go because the men toilets, 
There is no change to rules. There's no change to rules. And woman toilets, I don't want to make women uncomfortable. You know, if I go there and like, I'm not watching you, I just focus on my babies, you know? So, so that's what you're worried about? This, I don't know, because I know. But you're never going to leave the house anyways because yeah, you want to. No, but <laughs> it's because until the first time I do it, I'm worried about this. Yeah. You know, it's just having the first And you'll time. have the same thing too, like when you go to the swimming pool, are you going to bring them to your yeah. men's bathroom? There's family bathrooms, you'll just figure it all out. Yeah. And you also, as a man with a baby or two babies, would be like, oh my gosh, your wife must be tired. You're yeah. taking care of your wife and the baby. Our surrogate okay. was just amazing for that. Tell us a little bit about your surrogate. How's your relationship with her? So, uh, no name, you say. No um, name. She's, no, she's wonderful. I have no word to describe her. She is just amazing. She, yeah, she's, she's, she's just godsend. Yeah. She's I, just so amazing. I, I can't describe her because I'm very bad at describing people because everyone is different, but she's just amazing and she, she, she not only took care of of her, of them during eight to nine months. She provides a lot of intention, a lot of care, a lot, and we can even feel it. And she is very taking care of them, even now, and she's so here, she's so present, and she's so, yeah, wonderful. I have no word. She's, uh, yeah, and uh, we, it's very funny because we, we have discussion for the, for the girls, but we also have discussion for everything, like, uh, Little things to big things, a big, uh, I don't know, big challenge in the life or little play, something like that. So, so you hung out with her a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you uh, got to know her family? Uh, I met some of the members, yes. Okay. And, uh, Does she have children? Yes, yeah, she has one. Okay. She has one. And, and she uh, has one child, a daughter. And then gave two to yeah. you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Grew two for you. And, uh, yeah. Not she, Two amazing, two amazing ones. And no, she's really, yeah, she's really amazing. And yeah, she, yeah. we have been a bit worried for her at the end of the pregnancy. Like, it, it was weird because we were worried for her, not really for the girls, because we knew that she was taking care of the girls. So we wanted, we wanted to, to take care of her more than to the girls. Hmm. And, uh, and you're just keeping in touch with her? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. You know, the girls are Canadian, so they need to find out after their this roots. This cute little blanket. This is, this is a case from the, my surrogate family. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, the girls. You know what? Do you know the egg donor as well? And are you going to meet her at any point in your, in your journey? In so, your life? I, I know her just by distance, and I'm going to meet her very soon. Like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is a... Uh, are you excited to meet? Because then... So at Proud Fertility, we are always helping people in different types of egg donations. Some of them can be known, some of them can be anonymous, some of them can be um, no contact, just knowing their names, just every, every combination in the middle. But uh, in your case, you did a known donation with yes. very little contact or limited contact. Yes. And then now you're... Yeah, because she said, yeah, the most important for her was to provide the egg of building a family. And maybe not to be too much um, in the process, but more and more we talk, and so we are going to meet today. That's exciting! Yeah, meet today! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you have to tell me all about that. We will see. We will okay, see cool. how it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I guess that is Proud Fertility. Thank you so much for joining us. We will try to do a little interview with your husband and the surrogate and you another day, but thank you for bringing them by. Last shot, so. Which came first? Do you want to come back and say hi? This, I bet you this one came first, right? Yes. This one came first. Yeah. Baby A. Baby girl A. Can you tell who's who now? Baby B. Baby B? Yeah, yeah, I, Are yeah. there any um, features about baby B different? Um, B? There is some point we can figure out. Yes, there is a... I don't... I can't explain, but when I see them, I know exactly which one is it. Oh, okay. It is... I don't know. I can... Uh, yeah. I can... Uh, yeah, it's easy for me to... Check it and see which one is which one. Cool. It's very, yeah, it's very easy. Well, thank you very much. Um, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank um, you. Lieutenant Parent and signing off, Proud Fertility. Um, don't give up. Your journey was long. My journey was extra long. Um, there are journeys that are short. Some journeys that just seem never ending. Whether you're waiting for your surrogate or for your egg donor that has failed, 
things like that, that this is a good testament for patients. Yeah. And is that your main advice? Yes. And my surrogate as a sentencing, hurry and wait. And this hurry is like that, that sometimes it's very quiet and suddenly very speed, <laughs> quiet, speed, quiet. Like when you have to review something, is you need to do it within 24 hours or what within 48 hours because yes. it's very fast. Just rushing to wait, rushing yeah. to wait, rushing exactly. to wait. So this is early and wait. Yeah. But right, it's cool. amazing journey. Take care and have a nice day. Thank you.